Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Aim Small, Miss Small. And for today's video we're doing an old versus new video. So if you followed me on social media you'd see that I put the picture of the CCR 450 that I was able to get due to the scarcity and the one I bought looks like it's from 19 whoever knows what year and 2000 and I think I tracked it down to 2019 18. So now I've got the primers, I've paid for it, it's here. There is a scarcity. To find more is extremely hard. So how about giving it a test? So I thought let me put the old one versus the new one to the test and see if there's any difference. So just to validate the test, I've actually done two tests, but I'm only going to show you the guys the one set that I shot five shots each. I'll give you the ES and the SD, five shots, and it is exa exactly the same both times. That's why I'm just going to show you one of the test. So here's a little bit of the shooting. It's just the physical speeds, not the shooting, but just so you can see how the speeds change and I'll run it old versus new on the screen and you can see what the difference is. So let's do that and we'll check back with the summary at the end. And there you have it guys, the old versus the new. And surprisingly, the old primers shot a smaller ES and a smaller SD than the new primers. So if you can find old primers, doesn't matter which year, 1960, whoever knows, it still works. I think there's a few factors contributing to this. Moisture, if it's been uh, subjected to moisture, it's not gonna be as accurate. But luckily these ones have been well kept after the previous uh, or the seller of the primers told me that he kept it in his safe. So I was pretty happy to buy it. And, and there you have it. The old is better than the new, but it is the SD differs in less than three feet per second over five shots. I know I could have done, done a lengthier test on this to validate the data. But as I said, we do have a scarcity of primers. So I'm not going to go into shooting up all the primers just to validate the data. As I said before, I did do it twice. The old was, again, I think the difference there was 2.1. So old beat the new twice, but within three feet of an SD. So guys, if you can find old primers that has not been subjected to environmental factors, take the chance, buy it. I'm sure it'll do just as well. Well, there you have it, guys. Old versus new. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and uh, Comment below if you have different results. See you again, guys. Cheers.